Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A and this is going to be an in-depth, full breakdown of the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer. If you haven't already seen the original multiplayer trailer, there'll be a link on screen and in the description which you can click on. Definitely watch that first and then come back to this video. I can guarantee you there's going to be something new which you're going to learn from this breakdown. And if you enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. A lot of time and effort went into making this video and I'm sure you'll realise that once we get into the breakdown video. But nonetheless, Less. Let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. So let's jump into the first part of the trailer. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything within this trailer, making sure you're not missing out on any of the basics or any of the things that's hard to spot. First of all, I'm going to show you guys how the creator class images work throughout this trailer. As we can see here, this one's named I'm Electro, and to the right we actually have six slots for perks, two lots of three types of perks, in fact, blue orange and green. Underneath that we have a lethal and a tactical slot. Of course the primary weapon underneath that we have three slots for possible attachments for the primary weapon. Underneath that we then have a secondary weapon slot which has then two different options to attach to the secondary weapon and then finally at the bottom here we have three slots and you'll see this throughout the trailer for things that I can't confirm but I'll talk about that more in a minute. We then have numbers to represent the ammo rather than the bar in Modern Warfare 3. Underneath that we have the slot for the lethal and for the tactical equipment. And then above that we have select fire option which I've already shown in the Black Ops 2 video. The kill streaks themselves which I'll be showing throughout the video as well. And the bar which actually is used to build up to those kill streaks. In the bottom left we then have the team that you're on, that's the team emblem. To the right of that we then have your team score on the top and then the enemy team score on the bottom. So as we progress here, the first new thing we see is a new sort of stun grenade or in this case an electric shock grenade which can be used to stun the enemies in a similar way to previous Call of Duty games. At the top we have brand new pop-ups on screen which will show you rewards and tasks that you've achieved in multiplayer such as killing three people very quickly or killing someone that's just killed you. At the bottom here we've got the brand new player card. I'll go in more depth into the little icon on the player card in a minute. Now if you guys haven't been watching all of my Black Ops 2 videos, the next part of a trailer will probably be a bit of a shock to you, but I actually already knew this was coming and a lot of you guys who've watching my videos probably knew this. It's actually an attachment for your gun in multiplayer which allows you to see a certain distance through objects using wave technology and you've got to look through the actual scope part on the top of the gun. Having a look at the bottom part we can clearly see a power icon and more in-depth controls. Perhaps these are just aesthetic or maybe they do actually have a purpose. Probably just aesthetic but I thought I'd point it out anyway. Another part of the image here which a lot of people have actually looked over is actually a lightning strike being called in as a kill streak. I would take a guess that the lightning strike is either some sort of EMP equivalent or perhaps it's some sort of airstrike. I'm not 100% sure you guys can discuss that in the comment section and tell me what you think it is. And having another look at the second creator class here we can see the custom loadout for this player. And I also want to point out a very important thing which I haven't seen anyone else point out which is actually the counter next to the name of the class we can clearly see 10 points there and 10 points actually relates to how many certain items you can choose within your creator class option and every single creator class option you'll see within this trailer has 10 custom choices. Again I've actually already leaked this in the Black Ops 2 video a few months ago so if you've been watching all of my Black Ops 2 videos you probably will already know this. Having a look at the kill streaks we can see at the bottom there's definitely some sort of airstrike. In the middle it looks like some sort of advanced helicopter and at the top it's definitely a satellite. Continuing the clip here the player actually she does a dolphin dive again. I've already confirmed that in the previous Black Ops 2 video again, showing off the actual wave scope in action here. Again, it actually allows the player to see through the smoke to spot the enemy. And as the clip continues right at the end, if I pause it here, we can see the M8A1 with the reflex sight, confirming that the reflex sight will return from Black Ops 1 into Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Moving on to the next clip, we have a similar attachment to that of the one within Modern Warfare 3. We can flip between two sites. We also get to see a brand new kill streak, which uses UV rays to heat up the water with inside the enemies to make them feel uncomfortable and acts a bit like a stun grenade and here we can actually see Prestige 15 from Black Ops 1 which is really interesting not sure at the moment what that's got to do with Prestige within Black Ops 2 but I'll keep you guys updated and the points the numbers you see appearing on screen actually relates to the points you are getting directly filling up that bar and acting towards your next kill streak which means the assists also count towards your kill streak as well without having to use anything like Hardline which is awesome and as we've progressed with the clip here we can see that at the bottom the emblem I was talking 
talking about on your player card is exactly the same as one I pointed out initially, which means the customization of your actual emblem seems to be a decreased from Black Ops 1, where it's more of a uh, choice of already pre-made options for your player card, unfortunately. Now having a look at the crater class of the clip we just saw, it appears that there's deep impact on the primary weapon, silencer on the secondary, and a mine in the lethal slot, and then having a look at the kill streaks here, the bottom one was of course the UV emitter we've just seen in action, the middle one looks a bit like a helmet, perhaps that protects you against a new electro shocking stun grenades, and the top one looks like some sort of helicopter dropping a care package. The next segment of the trailer shows off a fly swat class, which means I'm assuming that they have their perks and their attachments for their guns set up to shoot down air support as quickly as possible. The kill streaks as we can see here are a few we've seen before with the satellite, the advanced attack helicopter in the bottom there looks like some sort of turret with one gun on the front. And here we can see the uh, player actually shooting down air support but not getting any points for it. Notice that on the screen, really disappointing, it appears that shooting down air support won't help towards your kill streak bonus, which is annoying but nothing we can do. And here we actually see the kill streak of the quad rotor in action. And one thing worth pointing out is in the bottom right where it says REC. Now, another YouTuber pointed this out as actually being a recording device, but I think it actually stands for record. Now, the reason I say this is because I've read a leaked document, which I don't think I've talked about in any of my previous videos which talked a little bit about multiplayer and one of the things I noticed that really stuck in my mind was the fact that the quad rotor specifically doesn't actually get shot down, doesn't actually have a timer on it in terms of how long it lasts on the map, say an attack helicopter will last on the map for a minute, the quad rotor will go on until you actually get shot down. So I think the record in the bottom right is actually a record for how long you've managed to keep your quad rotor alive for. And if we've looked at other clips before we can actually see that the quad rotor appears on the enemy UAV nicely and clearly so if the enemy sees you sort of sitting in the corner trying to get a massive record for this they're going to head over to that corner and they're going to shoot you down and end your record nice and quickly now I can't say for sure that this is what it is but it's just my guess I will be playing Black Ops 2 multiplayer next week hopefully at Gamescom I can come back with more information next week for you guys and confirm this for you now the next part of the trailer actually shows the quad rotor being shot down with an anti-air missile again the same thing you don't get any points for shooting it down which is disappointing but there you go and having a look at the next crater class here so I want to take this time to talk about the bottom three options a little bit more because people are still confused about this and it wasn't a definite answer for what it actually is now a few people thought this was actually character customization so just simply customizing the uh, color and the look of your character that doesn't make any sense because why would you want to spend a point of your 10 point allocation system on simply making your character look different that would be pointless a youtuber called falcon 1974a sent me a message saying he thought it was armor and I thought this was a really good point until I saw this image and if you have a look in the middle here it looks like some sort of headband or some sort of belt and why would that link in with armor it's just left me even more confused I'm not too sure this is quite yet leave a comment down below letting me know what you think this three slots are actually for we can talk about it a little bit more in the comment section and maybe come to a conclusion amongst ourselves also note that the primary weapon has a grip on it which is awesome to see coming back into multiplayer again and his secondary is actually the brand new riot shield which we're about to see in action also the kill street is the bottom one here here is a UAV. The middle one looks very similar to a knife but also a rocket launcher. I'm leaning more towards the rocket launcher side because I wouldn't expect there to be a knife as a kill streak. And the top one again looks like an advanced turret. As the gameplay continues here we get to see a brand new sight for the gun in use and also the riot shield being placed into the ground with a see-through sight coming up which allows the user to look through it. I'm not sure if you can shoot through it yet, I can't say for sure. And as we can see here this is the new sight in action, limiting your field of view but allowing the enemies to appear as red squares and notice here this is something I picked up just by pausing the trailer right at the end that the actual riot shield has a very basic stand to it a lot of people are saying the riot shield gets slammed into the ground that's just because it sounds like it does but if we then go on to the next clip here and have a better look at the riot shield we can actually see when it gets shot by the AGR in action here the turret the riot shield actually moves and gets thrown off the ground so perhaps if you come up behind this riot shield and shoot it you can actually knock it over now another part of the footage here which is very easy to miss is actually a little symbol in the middle of the screen here which I believe to be the flak jacket which confirms that the flak jacket perk will probably be in Black Ops 2 multiplayer assuming it's not anything else basically gives you extra resistance against explosive damage. Now the next piece of information I'm about to tell you is very exciting and if you think about it from all of the creator class screens we've already seen there hasn't been any death streak options and we've never actually seen death streaks within a Treyarch game so hopefully this means we won't see them in the future either. Now if you have a look at the kill streaks here the bottom one looks very weird but the middle one is definitely dogs and the top one 
is some sort of swarming airstrike, which we'll see in action in a second here. Now, the next piece of information is very exciting for me because I don't like panic knifing. And as you see the user run out of ammo here, he actually switches out to his knife, which means your knife is something you have to switch out to if you want to use. You can't just slam down on the knife button and panic knife the enemy, which is exciting news for me, may not be exciting news for you. And the gun on the floor here is the MK48, just in case you missed it. And as the player runs up here towards the enemy player, I actually just glanced and noticed a new prestige emblem next to the enemy's player name. I couldn't quite make it out. It's not easy enough to actually see, but it's definitely a new prestige emblem. The first look at it within Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now the next piece of information I only literally would have noticed because I slowed down this video and looked through it so many times, but there was actually an editing error because the actual kill streaks of the player changed between this clip and the clip a few seconds ago. So that was actually just a bit of a mistake in the trailer there. A bit of a funny thing I thought I'd point out to you guys. Now this clip really confused me because as he got his knife kill and actually when he got his pistol kill a few seconds ago as well, he didn't get any points towards his next kill streak. So that means I'm only assuming that you can't actually get your kill streaks again once you've got them all. Assuming of course that's what this player has done. He's got all of his kill streak once and now any extra kills he gets don't go towards his next kill streak. I thought that was a little bit weird. Not too sure what's happening there. Hopefully we'll find out more information next week at Gamescom. Now this part simply confirms that the Tomahawk is going to be in multiplayer if you enjoy using the Tomahawk, then that's awesome news. The next clip here actually shows off the sniper rifle in use. It sounds awesome, it looks awesome. And if we have a look at his kill streak loadout, he actually has two snipers, one in his primary slot and one in his secondary slot. My only assumption here is that he's actually had to spend a point on a perk which allows him to have two primary weapons, thus meaning he's wasted one of his points having to do that. But if you want to do that, you can. His kill streaks here are a turret, what looks like an SR71, which is awesome. I love that kill streak in Black Ops 1 and the attack dogs. Here we get to see an awesome sniper rifle in action, the scope looks great, the gun looks great and it sounds great, it actually has a trail behind it from where the bullet goes which looks really awesome as well, I like that effect a lot. And here we get to see an unscoped sniper rifle, that's the first time we've actually seen that since World at War, but they are epic, trust me if you've never played World at War, unscoped sniper rifles were really really cool. And at the top here, one of the new pop-ups is the four piece, which is very much a competitive term for Call of Duty, if you play competitive then you tend to say that if you kill four people very quickly quickly, but it's nice to see they're going to be integrating competitive mode a lot more into Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now this is going to be one of the final sequences within the trailer and here, people thought this was actually the animation for calling in a kill streak. it's not, if you check in the bottom right you see his tactical equipment actually disappear when he places this down, I think it's a tactical insertion, not confirmed though, we'll have to see. Again looking at the final creator class here, within the trailer this is actually a shotgun setup. we get to have a better look at the tactical slot, I still think it's a tactical insertion, we also have a look at the kill streaks here what looks like a high powered turret at the bottom in the middle of a care package drop I've already pointed out to you guys and hopefully a really high powered Osprey Gunner-esque killstreak at the top there. The next clip shows a shotgun in action with a sight coming out of a gun that's used to make the hit fire accuracy even better which is awesome for a class such as the shotgun and then he finally pulls out a C4 out of his back pocket here to get a really nice kill and continues on with his automatic shotgun to get a third kill. This is a sort of swarming airstrike kill streak that was in the knife clip a few minutes back if you want to go back and have a look at that in the right hand side of the screen and this finally here is basically to show that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 will be supporting competitive play a lot more. The announcer here, Hastro, he explains that this is multi-team deathmatch and as you can see in the top there there are three teams, this is either going to be three teams of three or three teams of four, not 100% confirmed yet but nonetheless an awesome new game mode. So that has been all of the breakdown for the latest Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer. I have sat here today and spent hours and hours editing this for you guys. I've actually had the file corrupt a few times, but we're finally here. Finally got it up on YouTube for you guys. I really hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. I'm going to be keeping you guys updated with Black Ops 2 content up to its release. And then, of course, loads of gameplay for multiplayer zombies and single player after its release as well. Again, just cheers for watching. If you want to support the video, liking it and favoriting it is the best thing you can possibly do. I really appreciate it when you guys do that so thank you very much for watching guys i've been ali a hope you've enjoyed this trailer breakdown and i'll see you on my next video